Hello everyone, this is Gigi from Amani Institute, speaking from Sao Paulo in Brazil. And I'm so excited to welcome today um, James Wober from California to explain a little bit about um, Constellation Work for Leaders and Teams um, because we have a workshop coming up in September, on September 29th. Um, James is the co-founder and CEO of the Art of Li Heartful Living Institute in California and they do training and private consulting work around leadership, energy mastery and constellation work for individuals and companies. So James, thank you so much for coming and, and being willing to do this uh, webinar with us so that we can um, share with our um, uh, audience and friends in, in Sao Paulo more about your work. Can you share a little bit more about yourself uh, to start with? Yes, yes. And first of all, thank you very much for hosting me. Um, I love the Amani Institute. It's just an amazing group of people uh, doing incredible things. Um, so it's very exciting to be coming again and be pre presenting more work. Um, so the work that I do, uh, especially with the Constellation work, which is what we're going to be doing as part of this workshop, uh, is this incredible modality that allows us to dive in deeply and really explore what is at the core of the main issues that we're being presented with, really in our, our personal lives as well, but especially in our business and our, the projects that we want to be doing in the world. So what are the main dynamics that are underneath the surface? And so the Constellation work really helps us in diving into that. So. Cool, thank you. Um, can you share a little bit about um, uh, yourself, how you got into this kind of work, um, just so we get a little bit of background um, um, who will be facilitating? Yes, I've been doing the Constellation work for going on 15 years now. Um, was the North American uh, co-director of the North American Systemic Constellations Conference. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of work with individuals and with groups for years and years. I've been doing the consulting for 20 years and having trainings as part of Art of Heartful Living. So my background is with that. I do energy work as well, uh, for those of you who are familiar with that, and incorporate all of that in the work and the consulting that we do. Great, thank you so much. And can you share a little bit like a high overview of what actually is constellation work? Since maybe um, there might be people that actually have not had an experience with this before or don't even know what it is. Yes, and it's not an easy thing to describe. The, the work is, goes very in-depth. Um, again, the work really drills down to the core. It's, it's like uh, opening up the curtains and really seeing what's going on with the subconscious and the underlying group dynamics when we're working with um, organizations and with teams and so forth. And so uh, what it looks like on the surface is like you're doing some type of play, only the play, again, is more of like these underlying dynamics that are underneath the surface with any of our issues. And uh, so it's like role playing. So we'll set up, uh, for example, in, in this particular workshop, uh, we're going to be doing work um, that explores um, bringing our projects into the world, bringing our, our soul longings, our dreams of what we want to do to help impact people in the world in, in different ways. And a lot of the people at, at Amani are already doing amazing work with that. So it's really helping people uh, recognize when they're bringing their teams out into the world and doing this work out in the world, we're impacting these communities. So there's these larger systems that we're part of. And the way that we show up as a leader impacts tremendously what's happening and the success that we have with our, with our projects uh, when we bring our work out into the world. So if we can recognize the deeper patterns that are going on, then we can make shifts that really, really um, have a much more potent impact on the world. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea of the work. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, so it's a little bit like I couldn't imagine that um, I am uh, in a leadership or management position in, in, or um, an entrepreneur that is dealing with a team and an initiative, a project that is um, um, impacting um, somehow in the world. Um, I can imagine I come to this workshop and I learn in, in sort of, I guess, some sort of like role play type of scenario more about myself and dynamics between team members or myself and the um, people that I work with? Yes, exactly, exactly. And usually when we're thinking of an issue that we're, that we're uh, confronting with our team, like, uh, for example, a common one is communication problems within the team, mm -hmm. or lack of direction, like there's confusion, how to bring out a project into a community, for example. Um, usually that's dealt with on a nuts and bolts level with other modalities like well then you just change your marketing a little bit 
or you change the message or maybe communicate a little bit more clearly with your team members. And that's all valuable. But if we don't understand the deeper dynamics that are going on underneath the surface that are creating the communication problems, uh, that, are, that are creating the confusion around where to go, um, th then really we're spinning our wheels. Mm -hmm. We're really not uh, recognizing the deeper pieces that are underneath the problems in the first place. Mm -hmm. so that's the be, great thing. Uh, sorry, so could it be something like, um, for example, um, I trigger people in my team or I get triggered by people in my team or with stakeholders or something. And I know it's irrational, so I'm trying to sort of like manage my energy and make sure that I still, you know, like, get the project done, but somehow this dynamic is impacting also then the atmosphere and the efficiency, the productivity of my work or my, my team members work, something around that. Right? Yes, exactly, exactly. And it's interesting watching it in the constellation and how it then impacts the team and our projects and our lives afterward, because it's, it's really like turning a key. Once we get that key piece and we get to keep on revisiting it as we heal, we, he we heal in layers. But once we, once we get that key piece, like for example, the communication problems in a given team might go back to um, a person experiencing a lot of abandonment issues when they're younger, a father leaving or some dynamic like that. And if you have dynamics like that, or, or for example, um, um, some trauma that happens in a family and makes it so that um, we're, we're focusing a lot of our attention and our concern and stress around conflict happening. Well, then if we go to the actual team and there's conflict, instead of just seeing, oh, well, here's some people working out an issue, we're triggered on a very deep level around this deeper conflict. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's hitting our fight, flight, or freeze dynamics inside of us. Mm -hmm. And then we respond as a leader through a, through a lot of stress and out of balance response to the team. Yeah. And even when we're working out with our, you know, out in the community with the groups we're working with, they pick up on those dynamics as well. Like that cascades down to everything that we're doing. Yeah. So if we, if we can address it at the core level, which is us, then it, then it really makes everything that we're doing with our teams, with the projects we're doing, much more successful and flow much more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that that goes also for like relationships too. Um, sorry about that. It, it, probably true also for relationships to money or to um, uh, resources or to recognition and so on, right? Exactly. Every, I mean, you think of any issue that we're going through in our lives, any issue that, that takes place within an organization, it comes back to these very basic human dynamics. Mm. And uh, if we address those, those core dynamics, then it's, again, it's like a key unlocking. It opens things up so that we can really function much better. Yeah, thanks Jen. So uh, it sounds amazing. I have still a question. So I, I understand, so, I, so you've kind of laid it out. So there's like nuts and bolts techniques that we can learn as managers or leaders, like, I don't know, like win-win negotiations, for example, or I don't know, non -line communication or something that, a better project management, something that helps us uh, manage projects in our teams better. This is, seems to go a level deeper and sort of like addressing certain dynamics and, and, and understanding certain dynamics on a deeper level and possibly even understanding a little bit how can we um, uh, uh, untwist certain knots that we might have to then be um, able to respond in different ways. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So normally this kind of thing happens, uh, I, I think, in therapy, <laughs> like people go to therapy to address deeper seating sort of like issues. So can you explain a little bit how, you know, what could a person expect from a one day workshop um, um, in, you know, like how effective really is it to, to sort of like experience this kind of thing, you know, I mean, it doesn't substitute obviously for something like therapy or other, you know, coaching, um, longer coaching um, interventions, but like, what is the value of doing something like this for one day um, in going right. to that people? Yeah, this is like team therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Even if the team is not there? Well, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because we're the root of it. Again, if we can address it here, then it impacts the team. It's, it's um, to take a quick tangent, it's actually amazing. Once you shift it, it happens really, really quickly. Um, all of a sudden, team members start responding differently, and it seems like, Wow, that's like magic. How did we shift things so, so easily? So, so what are the impacts and the outcomes? I'd say that's one of them. Um, just by changing things with us, 
as the leaders, it's amazing how much that allows other people on the team to really shift and open in subconscious ways. Like we don't even realize how we're holding things in place as the leader. So it really will have a, a pervasive, positive impact on your teams, the people that you work with and so forth. Um, many of the, the, the other advantages to doing, doing work like this is it, it really gives you clarity as to the overall dynamics happening with your team. So when you're strategizing, uh, when you're marketing, when you're deciding how to do team building in a different way, it, it lets you know what those core dynamics and issues are, what's at the root of it, so then you can apply different solutions that are on target with what really helps. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I'd say another piece with it is that um, it really um, provides tools so that we're, when we're in the moment and we notice ourselves being triggered, which happens, we're human beings, mm -hmm. we have tools to then apply and then in subtle ways bring into our teams so that they have permission and can do that as well. And then it shifts the entire culture of the team. Okay. So th th those are the main things. It helps with strategizing. It helps with um, seeing the main dynamics, um, gives you a, a great set of tools and so forth. Yeah. Cool. So when we're talking about this workshop, um, uh, it's a one day workshop. And um, from what I understand, we can expect to get like um, experience, like some in input in experiences with these type of dynamics that relate to leaders and team situations and bringing sort of like initiatives into the world, correct? Yes, yeah. very hands-on, a lot of experience. Okay, cool. So it's very hands-on and um, um, people will be able to experience dynamics and, and find out things about themselves in the process. And then you were saying there is a possibility for um, two, I think, people to bring a case study that is in which we will go a little bit more in depth into a team dynamic that is um, uh, uh, a challenge right now for someone to understand better how that dynamic could shift. And everyone who participates in this group role play around this case study will obviously also learn something for themselves. But the uh, case study is for one person that is presenting this case. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so these two case studies, we get to dive really deep and really see the intricacies of what's going on with, a, with an organization or a project or so forth. And, and like you said, it's amazing watching other people's because you learn a tremendous amount. We all have very similar yeah. dynamics and issues we're working with. Um, so we grow a lot from watching these. And, and just to clarify also that within the entire day, people will be working all day on their, on their specific projects their issues and dynamics. So you get a lot of personal work regardless. Mm -hmm. These are just two opportunities. If you want to have yours um, brought up as part of it and you want to be brave and jump in, um, you can really gain a lot by having your own case study done. Okay, wow. Yeah, um, thank you so much. I, I do think that it's um, super valuable. I, I personally, so everyone <laughs> listening or watching this, um, I, I, I've done a workshop with James before. It was amazing. It has moved the dial for me for sure. So I know that it's hard to describe constellation work, but um, uh, I think the people who have done it, they understand the power of it. And I cannot wait to see uh, what it can do for teams. And I'm very excited looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you. And again, just to say, when you have a group coming together, like for the, the Amani Institute and the, and the people that you attract as part of the work that you do, um, it just makes for an incredible workshop where the more you have people jumping in and sharing deeply what's going on, it does feel like therapy. You end up at the end of the workshop both having this personal opening experience and at the same time end up getting a lot of important tools and insights on your own business and projects moving forward. So you, you kind of open with that. It's kind of both. You get both. Yeah, amazing. Wonderful. Thank you so much, James. And I'm looking forward to having you here. Me too. Thank you very much.